Hey there, everybody. We're back for another round of refactoring some of the nasty code we got that we wound up with in our renderer. Uh, and here we are at the play screen renderer, which is the most abused. Most of the renderers are actually relatively clean. And here's a here's an example of the title screen renderer, where it has here's what fonts you are, here's what tiles you are, and a list of and some identifying information as far as this is the tile that you use and then the actual thing to draw it just goes loops through and does whatever but the play screen renderer was originally just the renderer and it was as we were going along um, rendering the screen output so it is it is uh, rather complex because it does render the entire state of the game so as a result it has gotten kind of messy <laughs> But so, especially, uh, here's one, render item. Yep, it's not the, uh, not the best. Uh, render monster is not so bad, because it's a, hey, if you're not locked, then render. But otherwise, do nothing, so uh, it's... Anytime you see one of these, that's that's a code smell, and it's indicative that something wrong has been has gone on. In render room, there are three different, four different things that can have happened. Status table, not so bad. Like if you're alive, then say that. If you're dead, then say that. If you <coughs> if you want, say that. If your time's up, then you say time's up. This is this is a bit for. Spit for John, uh, he said, hey, find the apostrophes? Don't you have an apostrophe in your font? I said, yes, I do, but I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight characters, so no apostrophe. So any other grammar Nazis in the in the peanut gallery, uh, y'all can uh, take a hint. All right, the main offender, other than... Uh, render room and render item are main big offenders but really draw game screen is the worst offender and actually it's just the function signature of render room which is which is the hey uh, render this room and well check if this and check if that and send all these things in there and while that is useful it makes for this god-awful looking uh, function call so that's something we're going to want to take a look at. <coughs> this part, not so bad. Yes, okay, the explorer tile of however we're facing, render it out. But should that be a render explorer? Perhaps it should. Let's start. Let's, let's get started. Explorer. Uh, we we'll, we don't we only need we need orientation and location. Let's <coughs> instead of that we're going to take explore position and send it on to render explorer with explorer.orientation so instead of let's refactor some variable names so let's just do this super cool all right Now, most of the rest of these uh, consist of, of, for example, not not counting this first one just for a second, but here's a, here, I want in gold at this position, this value and this format. So that is things. Now, it, it is a function of the explorer state, so we do need... Um, well, do we just need a value? 
we could just use a val well no because what I want to do here so I'm going to go let what do I call it in my tile screen renderer my tile screen renderer I call it my tile title screen strings uh, so let's go with a play screen strings equals and it's going to be a list of things just a, just a little old list and what we need we will take care of this one well we're going to take this one here in isolation and then see how we can impact that on everybody else it's all going to work out so I need a color I need a location I need a way to I need a format and then I need a way to take a state and <clears throat> and spit out a value uh, really a these are all integers these are all integers hmm 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 I may need to include this printf so I want to be able to take an explorer state and I want to spit out a string so the thing I want and I'm likely just a tuple so I need colors dot gold and I need the position which is second stats column that then I need a fun s and that but that's s instead don't know that I absolutely have to do it this way but this gets me what I want so I have I have this and so that way so let render play green strings what do I call it here I don't I just list iter it I can do that here too well you know what I got them I won't all right now instead of this I'm gonna go play screen strings dot iter how do we do this? We do a fun all right fun we have a color x y and then uh, state function color x y uh, we'll call it an X form. It transforms the state. Take a look back here. How we do it? All right. Put it here. What can I? I can just send that X Y right in there. So we're cool. So tiles, not font dot C and I do a frame buffer render string XY and I do explore dot state into my X form and does that compiler all happy so if I eliminate this, it should still show me when I run it. We'll leave it isolated for now. <coughs> we should still see how much loot we have in the position that we think we should. 
So there, color gold, here's that, all the other stuff, go. Do we compile? We compile, do, do we work? Up again, stop, all right. One of these days. I'll remember to set it back to debug. I always hit a release. I put it up on GitHub. And I forget. Okay, so it is showing that I have zero. Let's find one. Dink. Alright, cool. It works. So that's cool. So I think we can start to replace all of this stuff. This one's going to be its own thing, so I'll have another one that's a tile render. It's kind of like, uh, well, play screen, play screen tiles. Let play screen tiles equal. And we just put the tile, which is UI key. And the X, Y, which is for stats column 1. So then in order to get this, it plays play screen tiles, lighter, fun, T, X, Y, Frame buffer, render tile, and render tile takes x, y to t, x, y, and that should do it, and I should be able to run it and see a key on the screen. And I do. So great. So similarly, so I have these other tiles. Let's get the tiles. I'll just copy these out here and move them on up for the moment. Yes, my it's going to be angry with me for just a minute. But That's okay, because it's about to get the shield. Okay, cool. So now we're down to, that's a font, that's a font, font, font. And really, these things all become up there. But let's get our let's get our tiles going. One, two, three, two, three. Got explorer tiles dot potion. Explorer tiles dot sword. X. Uh, explorer tile dot shield. Copy. Cut paste. This one is potion one is is that column one? First stats column two. Second stats column two. And must uh, sacrifice to the totem of. lining things up vertically. Do we really? I don't know. There now that is that has shortened it a bit. Make sure it works. Do there they all are. <coughs> Neat. Alright. 
So now while we're at it, we can take all of these and we can put it in here. There. So, all right. So, we take that. Well, let's Well, here's a here's a thing I often do. XXX X This gives me things that I can, I have to replace them because it is a syntax error for me not to. So, color is copper. The X location is that. The, that, that is one. The value that goes here. This way, I won't forget anything. That's a one. Grab the potions. And your junk now. I'll take silver. Let's take that whole thing. Yoink. There's his attack. Up and of course, um, we don't need that. Okay, now that one's junk again. Aquamarine at that location. Really only need that. Okay, these are junk. They're both sapphire. It's really for a stats column. I want to discontinue. What's sixteen? That's seventeen. And this one's where it is just a string. This one, did I miss one? I missed this one. It's okay, I know it's defense. to be happy let's look so gold we want to loot copper keys amethyst potions silver attack aquamarine defense and the sapphire move and other things which one's the furthest along that one is yep a lot of dude fussing about space is is the rule of the day and also, you're supposed to have space like this. Yeah, I know. Alright. Well, there's that. Put a space there. Um, plus one. Perhaps we should move it over. And probably do this. 
but it makes it id if nothing else it does make it very pretty but uh, maintaining it can take a long time so I've, I'm, I'm of mixed emotions on all of this You can really easily spot problems if you're looking at it vertically sometimes. And, alright, so all my strings and all my tiles are there. And so now everything is, that what, a big old blob of stuff is right there. And also, I believe that this can be thrown in with the rest of these. And the really great thing is I don't care what order. Put it there. Doesn't matter as long as I stay on the same line. Of course now I get to do my dude fussing again. And now This is going to be fun. All right. So this one's more complex because this one is, hey, grab your health and subtract your wounds. And this one also has character three. So, if I get rid of this, it should like it again. Pink. But, yeah, see, now I got a problem in that my function doesn't meet my rule anymore. So, alright, well, then we have the ones that are nice and then the ones that are weird on the bottom. Right, right. And it mostly helps. And it calls out the exceptions, and really, that's just a weird construct anyway. So, alright, all of my strings are being rendered to the screen and being uh, interpreted based on state. I kind of cheat with the static ones and say, hey, no matter what the state, that's what it is. But, you know, most of the time I do need the state. So, the, so they're, they're the one-offs rather than the rule. Well, that certainly shortened that. Now, oh, I've got myself a to-do active pattern. But first, let's, let's make sure that all my stats are being rendered correctly. Nope, they are not. So my... My health is wrong. Okay, I'm taking that. Where's my heart? Where is my heart? Oh, I didn't do my slash u zero 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 three. Then we should be good. Yep, there we are. All right, we're back. And we've got... Those things are zeros. Let's see. To the, does the right one... I don't know. I can't imagine it does it. Oh, come on. Yeah, that one goes up. Give me a key. There's a key. There we go. We'll assume that the other one's a shield. Yeah, because three is potion. Yes. All right. Cool. All right. Move that to a little, little table. So next, so okay. Always show the position. Draw all the 
rings, draw all the tiles, and this is okay. <clears throat> Here's the one that shows. Let's get back that back to the first stat column as well. I am rendering whether or not I'm alive to this. <laughs> we'll leave that one be for now. Uh, and now I have this being a convert me to an active pattern. All right. Challenge accepted. So really what I want to do is um, divide. I'm showing the time here. And if my time limit exceeds one half, I show it green so you're good. If it's greater than one fourth but less than one half, then it then it's yellow saying, hey, you're beginning to run out of time. And then the red is less than one fourth. Is the active pattern the thing that is? Is that a thing here? I don't know. So what I do care about, I care about the time font. Does it make it any cleaner? Let's 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 find out. Well, really, yeah, you know, we still wind up with an F. All right, let's make, let's do the active pattern. Let we got what we need. We need time remaining and then time limits are constant. So so we got lots of time. Still time left, running out of time. And really it's this exact code. Instead, we're doing this. But really, Really, do I do I care? All right. So it spits that out. So I need okay. Let's do it. All right. So really, what I want to do is I want to say match. Match time remaining with so I got lots of time still time left sometimes it's the whole hey you should really do a active pattern but I still very much think in if else if this is a, this is a switch and this active pattern is really just a way to bucket statuses with this kind of uh, discriminated union impromptu enum thing and so sometimes I just don't see so if it's that we're gonna do these things we're gonna, we're gonna spit out a different font
that. We spit out a font. So we match the time remaining. We spit out a font. Isn't that better? See, the, the thing that bothers me here is that we're calling tiles.font. Dot dot. I'm not entirely sure. suppose it is a little cleaner. I'm a, not totally, not totally there. Now this is being cleared. I do not need to do this. Which again is a bit of a no-no. I don't need So then really what I do I don't need that. Actually I can take this part off, get my explorer state. And I say, I am alive with lots of time. If I'm alive, still time left. If I'm alive, running out of time. But if I'm anything else, That's a little cheesy, but gets the job done. Maybe I do a different thing a little bit. Maybe I do because I don't. I don't want to write it in black because I don't want to have a side effect where oh, suddenly I've decided to change my color, right? So what I want to do. Make it an option. So that's like, okay, this. But then I have to option bind. And I'm going to have to go look. So it's expecting a. Is that what I want to do? Do I want to do option bind? Got to look it up. Option bind. So, cause I know what I want to do is I want if it is a thing. Bind reverse. So match string with that. Then it's no. String out one. String out one. This is not what I want to do. Not what I want to do, I don't think. Good. that takes type T from an option and transforms it into an option containing a value of type U. No, this is totally not what I want. What I want is if I want to conditionally, like, I want to do if I got to store it. I like, okay, so let font equal all these things. Is this any better if font is some then font value do that else 
No, that can't. This does not help. I just I just made it longer. What am I missing? Oh, okay, whenever this happens, there's always a something I'm not thinking of. Something. Let's look back at option just for a second. Option. Here we're looking at it. Things I want to do with option. some none some in value but I don't want I do want I do want I want option yeah, okay so now I'm going to sit here going what in the world do I need to do all these functions I'm also looking in the wrong place I'm looking at the option here's that look here Option count, option exists. Map to array to list. No. This is Could I do map? No, not really. I don't want to do map. Alright, we're gonna leave it for now. Cause baking too long. Well, really, it's, hmm. Not really, then. Hold on. I think this is the key. Yes, sir. Do nothing. Don't care. Yes, this is right. Okay, so, really, what I care about, and while that's, uh, so, let time printer printing function equal, what I want to do is partial application. So, I'll send it to the time printing function, any time, whatever, yep, okay, that's what I want. Now, the thing is, is the only thing different here is the color. And so, yes, and then in this case, do some nothing. Alright, this is what I want. I, it, it sometimes just to take a step back and go, how am I doing this wrong, and why am I using an if? All right, so cool. But now, how do I? Is there like a? We're gonna look. We're gonna look up uh, F sharp map right quick. F sharp map. Dot. Item. Dot item key gives you the value. Okay. All right. Um, how about it? It's not right. Let me do it in a different way. I don't I want. I don't want the property. I want a method. I want 
try to find? Oh, wait, no, I want to find. Try find. I want to try find, but I don't. I want one that just gives me. I don't want map that item because I don't think I can use map that item. Well, maybe I can. Okay, let's try it. So ideally, then, the printer func the time print function. Tiles dot font dot item and then must have an argument. So, all right, for now, you now for now we're going to be okay. All right, we. I will return. I will find. I will find the way. But now, uh, I need some. What I want is to test out this stuff. This is this is how I test it out. I normally time is normally sixty six thousand six hundred seconds. Now it is down to six, so I should see very quickly go green, yellow. I suppose that's not long enough. Uh, let's go with sixty seconds so we can. We should see one. We should see a transition at 30 and again at 15. Okay, so F2. So it'll take a minute, but okay. <clears throat> so we could have gone with 12, but then I don't. Then I have to do something other than like just put a comment in and take a comment out. Yeah, this has been this has been an interesting adventure in in refactoring. So does it do at thirty or below thirty? Just below thirty. And I think I really want it to be where even it's at thirty. So then so then according to that, the fifteen should be yellow but the fourteen should be should be red. Fifteen. Fourteen. Yeah, I don't like that and I'm I'm really glad that I took a look at this because now I can say in my hmm oh, so that's greater than or equal to take out the, take out the equal to neat you know this could also be a match a match with when kind of thing but who wants to do that? Certainly not me. Okay, so this function has certainly improved a great deal from where it's where it's been. But now can see this one the font see the stat I've got a stat this one's weird where it's uh, the uh, the color changes based on based on the state. So, okay, we're, we will leave that one for now as well. But yeah, okay, so this time we took on a big, big function that was quite a bit longer. And we have whittled it down. Yeah, I'm quite happy about that. Quite happy with this. Well, I'm could be happier but it's the, I don't want you to do anything here and I would like that to be better if one of these days I'll figure it out but in any case uh, so this one's under control and we probably need to move up to render room next or even render item um, and I think render render item is another one where Another one where I can turn 
all of this into a table similar to the way we have it and then just look it up in the table so but I'm going to leave that for next time or maybe even do between times because it's the same exact treatment you don't need to watch me do that twice all right we're gonna stop it for now make sure make sure it still runs it still runs right because we just ran it right yeah I don't know yes sir all right call that done for now you have yourself a marvelous day and we'll see you next time